hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for tech so finally the lineage 19.1 android 12.1 gs have built booted on my galaxy tab 10.1 smt515 from last few days i tried to boot lots of android 12.1 gs app but none of them to work but finally the build by developer and successfully booted so you can try this gs app on the any phone or the tablet if your device has the treble support to check the treble support, use the Android app given in the video description, then download the correct file and flash it as shown in the installation part of video timeline. So today I specifically discuss all the new features that Android 12L gives for the last screen display like Android tablets, which was missing on Android phones. I check all the basic functionality are working or not in the GSI, tested safety net, void one, sensors, etc. I also found some bugs, so watch the video till the end. You can use the timeline to jump directly to specific part of the video. But watch the video till the end for my final verdict. Now, without further ado, let's get started. So, before flashing the ROM, you must be on the unlock bootloader with the TWRP installed on your tablet or the phone. If you didn't done that, watch the right side card video as the TWRP internal storage is not working on Android 12 ROMs. You need one USB OTG and the pen drive, but if it's working for you, then don't use the USB storage. Just save file in internal storage and proceed further. First download and extract the GSI file given in a video description using the exact file extractor. You will get the image file copy and save it to the pen drive or internal storage. Now power off the device and then boot to the TWRP by long pressing volume up plus power button. This is for the Galaxy Tab. You can use the different combo as per your device model. Now connect pen drive to the device. Tap mount and check mark the USB storage. Now tap storage and select the USB storage even if it shows the 0MB storage size. Now tap install and then tap install image. Tap available at the right bottom and then select the image file. Now check mark the partition system and slide the bottom bar to flash the ROM. Once done, go to the wipe. Tap format data, type yes and done. Then tap reboot to the system. While booting, to skip the bootloader, unlock warning. Press the power button once. All the things are done and we booted with the signature boot animation of Lineage OS 19.1. After completing the setup, we will go to the about phone to know more about the new build. Android 12L is completely changed with the new visual changes for the last screen devices like tablets that we are watching in a stock setting application. In the about phone, we will get the Android 12L or also called as Android 12.1 easter egg which is similar to the old Android 12. This is the Lineage OS 19.1 build with its own awesome looking easter egg. This GSI build comes with the security patch of FIFMA 2022. So I flashed this build on my one UI baseband version CUJ1, kernel version is 4.4.177. This build is prepared on 10th May 2022. So it's time to check all the basic functionality working in the build or not. Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi hotspots are working perfectly along with the 5 words network. LTE network working good without issues. Normal 3G 2G SIM incoming and outgoing calling works, but the whole LTE calling will not work on Samsung devices. Even if you enable the fix in the PHS treble setting, it only works for the MediaTek and the Qualcomm devices. Bluetooth connection are working without any tweak. Here I connected my Oppo Echo M31 earphones. This ROM supports the LDAC along with the SBC, APTX and ACC codecs. They are working very good in the media outputs and while calling also. Audio quality in the speaker is also very good. ROM comes with the audio effects tuner which has bunch of the audio presets, reverb, pass and virtualizer setting. GPS location is working without issue, it's detecting the location precisely. Camera app is working for the pictures and the video mode, both the front and the main camera are working. As this camera hardware is completely with the old specification, we can't accept the best quality picture, but it's okay for the normal photography. Now we will check all the Android 12L feature which specially designed for the tablets that you must watch. In the quick setting panel, we get the advanced style for the network, screencast and the screen recording tiles. We can check the advanced settings for these tiles within the quick setting panel without jumping into the main setting of the tile. If you access the recent panel, now we get the grid recent panel mode. Only main running app will be available in a full screen, recent mode and other will be minimized to the smaller cards. If you long press on the recent card, we get the split to the left or the right option. We can switch up down between the split screen app by double tapping on the middle bar. We can close the card by the swapping to any direction. In Android 12L, split screen app will remain visible in a recent panel anytime. Android 12L on the last screen devices now has the new setting like dual screen. 
on the left side we we'll have the all the major tabs of the settings and on the right we will get the details of the current running tab this is pretty useful to utilize the last screen of the tablets in the android 12l we we'll get the double line clock setting in the display and under the lock screen setting if we disable this tab we will get the large clock on the lock screen if we enable the tab clock will shift to the top left corner if we switch to the landscape mode and access the quick setting panel it will again divide the screen into the two screen on the left we have all the quick setting tiles on the right we get the notification panel rom has fully working monet theming if we long press on the home screen we get the wallpaper and style app setting in that some inbuilt wallpaper are available but if you want to apply our own downloaded wallpapers we need to install the wallpaper picker app from the play store it has dark mode setting also as the rom comes with the quick step launcher we didn't get the theme icon and the pixel wallpaper in the app Here I changed some wallpaper and the whole system has applied the monet themes with the accurate wallpaper color mode. If you want the material clock and the 12 widgets, you need to install the Google Clock application from the Play Store. Then you can add these awesome clock widgets on the home screen. ROM has new expanded volume slider which has the media output setting embedded in the slider. Here comes the best custom part of Android 12L is the new taskbar. Who gets the new taskbar default in the tablets for the Android 12L? It's nothing but the home screen dock application accessible anywhere by just long pressing the large navigation pill available at the bottom of the screen. You can disable this taskbar again by long pressing on the empty left or the right corner of the taskbar. If you long press on any of the app in the taskbar and slide it to the main running app, it will be converted to new split screen which is a amazing feature. These are all under 12L features. Now we'll discuss some custom setting available in this PHS Table ROM. Who get the PHS table setting in the main setting of the device? I will discuss only main part of this. Here we get the Samsung feature tab, which has option to enable double tap to wake setting. If you check mark it, you can use the double tap to wake on the lock screen and it's working perfectly. In the doors tab, who gets the hand wave and the pocket mode gestures? Actually, both are not working in my device. In the miscellaneous tab, who gets the force FPS tab to force the 60, 90, 120 Hz as per your device specifications? Force enable AOD is another setting. If we enable this, it will not work properly. Sometimes it works, sometimes it's not. Here we get the linear brightness tab, which increases the brightness above the default values of the device. In the IMS setting, we can enable the whole LED calling for only MediaTek and the Qualcomm devices. To enable this, first tap the Create IMS APN, then check mark the Request IMS Network and Force Presence of 4G calling. Then tap Install IMS APK. It will install the APK. You will see the notification in notification panel. Then reboot the device. In the customization setting, we get the bunch of accents color in accent color tab. Bunch of icon shapes available in the icon shape tab. I personally like the pebble shape. We can use the icon pack tab to apply different icons. In the font family, we get the only one extra font style except the default one. Now all the PHS table has the OT updater, but our device don't have the dynamic partitions, so it will not work. There are some other customizations available in the display and under the settings. You can check that in the details from the reset card video. Use the timeline in the video to check the Lineage OS 19.1 features. So here comes the important part: safety net check. Sadly, safety net got failed, but you can use the root and the zigzag method to bypass the safety net check. Amazing thing is that Void One is on L1 security, so you can use the Netflix and the Amazon Prime videos at full HD resolution. I tested some sensors, but as this is the low-budget tablet, very few sensors are available in the hardware. Accelerometer is working, except this no light sensor is available in the device. No proximity sensor available. Compass not working in the ROM. Gyroscope is also broken, and no barometer available in the device. But the mic test got passed. It's working good. Multi-touch is also working without issue. Screen is fully working in the ROM. No any dead zone I found. So here comes the battery life as the device is already packed with the big 6150 mAh battery but this ROM is also having very good battery backup you can easily pass more than the one day on average use like watching youtube videos listening music wifi gps bluetooth on hold a day some calling and playing the normal games here on the 26% is still showing me the balance estimate for one day Battery stats not showing anything. It's the bug in the ROM, but you can use the better battery stats like application from the Play Store to check the battery usage. So what are the bugs? USB storage is not working when the device is on, and if you try to connect the phone to the PC, but it will accessible in a TWRP mode. If you try to power up the device, it will take one minute to power up the device, which is very annoying. 
but instead of that use the volume down plus power button to restart the device or power up the device safety net is the another issue that we already seen in the android 12 l build i feel some lags which was super smooth on old build which is the main reason for me to switch from the one ui to the custom rom but here the performance has seen similar to the one ui except this if you seen any other bugs let me know in the comment section so this is all about the new android 12 l gsi build which has given the new life to the old devices like the galaxy tab you can try this on your old device just download the correct file and flash it let us know in the comment section did it put it on your device except the galaxy tab 10.1 that's it guys for today if you think i help you please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye